Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well yesterday was the bug fixing updates for Windows 10. I had a few questions concerning uh, the fact that many of you have seen reports that there's new features and the new features are really uh, for the uh, standard you know regular consumer uh, you and me not really relevant uh, much uh, except for the uh, maybe the Chinese market where there's some uh, improvements in the uh, funds. Uh, for the rest, um, one is Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, which is not what we have when we actually have Windows 10 uh, has a simple uh, Windows machine on a computer. So... It doesn't affect us. It will affect uh, Windows 10 machines that might be connected, for example, to um, networks, and that's different. The other one is uh, the um, authenticate across Microsoft Clouds. Once again, uh, it's not a feature that most of us will use. It really has to do with um, much more, um, you know, enterprise side of Windows 10. So these are some of the things that um, are really the, uh, the main effect. Um, one of them that somebody mentioned uh, that it fixed, because I had a comment, um, he was mentioning that he had a lot of desktop issues and that apparently after this update, um, it all stopped. And one of the updates, one of the fixes in here is the Desktop Windows Manager reliability and so for that to happen there must have been something happening for some so basically this means that um, if you had some weird occurrences on your desktop and um, wondered what was happening maybe this could be fixing that issue but for the rest uh, nothing much to talk about there is in here integrated within this update by the way that arrived yesterday um, a um, what we call an update stack, which is uh, integrated within all of the updates that's within that package, uh, which apparently will improve the long-term reliability of Windows updates also. So uh, that comes in here. So if you had some issues with Windows update, could be worth checking out um, this update. It will anyways be installed uh, with patch Tuesday update uh, for July. And, of course, I get a lot of people saying, well, you know, why are they putting this optional when we know that it's going to be installed with the Patch Tuesday updates? Why aren't these separate? Well, that's not the way Windows Update works, actually. Windows Update works in such a way that um, it actually does uh, need to have a, um, a sequence of updates. And so when it looks at updates for patch tuesday if it sees that it's missing the bug fixing updates well they have to be there for patch tuesday to actually install so that's why it's the way that it's been designed uh, they, they can't be separated uh, could that be in the future uh, maybe but it's difficult to you know assess depending on the way that windows updates are done and i think microsoft just wants you to have all the d updates at at, at some point anyways so uh, that's what I had to add uh, following some of the viewer questions for Windows 10 22H2 updates that uh, actually uh, appeared uh, yesterday, June the 27th, on um, your machine for bug fixes. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.